Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to lesson number two of DNA. This is lesson number two of our chapter 12. Of course, for the reason that uh, some chemical factor could change these harmless bacteria into disease-causing bacteria, and it was transformed. Um, it was transferred from the dangerous ones to the non-dangerous ones. So this is the beginning of our understanding of uh, something being passed down from generation to generation. He called this process transformation because of one type of bacteria had been changed permanently into another. Remember, he killed the bad bacteria, mixed it with uh, good bacteria that wasn't causing pneumonia, and it ended up turning into the bad bacteria, permanently transforming it into a new type of bacteria. Because the ability to cause disease was inherited by the offspring of the transformed bacteria, he concluded that the transforming factor had to be a gene. So, a group of scientists in the Rockefeller Institute of New York, led by a Canadian biologist, uh, Oswald Avery, you need to know that name, Oswald Avery, usually we just refer to him as Avery, uh, wanted to determine which molecule in the heat-killed bacteria was the most important for this particular uh, transformation. Avery and his team extracted a mixture of various molecules from the heat-killed bacteria and treated this mixture with enzyme to destroy either proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and uh, some other molecules including, including uh, nucleic acid or RNA. And still, this transformation occurred. So they mixed them with stuff that dissolves uh, but destroyed lipids and proteins and carbohydrates and some nucleic acid, and the transformation still happened. They repeated this using enzyme that would break down DNA. When they destroyed the DNA in the mixture, the transformation did not occur. So, there it is. There is proof, therefore, that DNA was the transforming factor. What role did bacteria and viruses play in identifying genetic material? Hershey and Case's experiment with bacteriophages confirmed Avery's results convincing many scientists that DNA was genetic material found in genes, not just in viruses and bacteria, but in all living cells. Several different scientists repeated Avery's experiments. Alfred Hershey and Martha, uh, Martha Trace performed um, the most important of these experiments uh, relating to the discovery. Hershey and Chase studied viruses. Uh, non-living particles that could infect living cells. And this is a, a new important thing. Something that's non-living can have an effect on something that is living. When bacteriophages enter the bacterium, it attaches to the surface of the bacterial cell and injects its genetic information into it. Viral genes act to produce many new bacterial phages which gradually destroy the bacteria. When the cell splits open, hundreds of new viruses burst out. So this is the end of lesson two. Now you're ready to take the uh, lesson two, uh, chapter 12, the lesson two quiz. Thank you.